be here doing a bit of multitasking out here while I'm in Reglan, a small town here in New Zealand. Christmas time, everyone comes to the beach. I'm taking my beautiful little daughter to the beach with me. She's gonna have a swim around. Doesn't she look like Pocahontas? Okay, anyway, um, I'm multitasking of course. Got a small little sketch pad here. I'm gonna be going over to the beach, doing gesture drawings of people. Right, so this guy's sitting here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have a shape here like this. And I know that from this thing here, see he's got up, but I don't care that he's got up because my understanding of anatomy already got me that thing. And I can see he's got a backpack on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start See on hair, there's the t-shirt section goes hair, like hair. So we know that he's, he, he had a bit of spread around him there like that. And his arms are resting on his legs like that. And he was wearing shorts like that. And his feet were there. I couldn't quite see what his feet were there, but my knowledge of anatomy can just finish that up like that. And he had a hat on. I remember it was like, one of those hats. So that's enough, okay? That's enough for that one. Okay, so this town is so cool. Many towns have them, but we got this uh, an old attitude kill here. And uh, my daughter, she can't resist. So I've got her working while I'm working too. She can play at the beach later on. Okay, so what I'm doing is, is I'm just going to very quickly look at this woman's gate. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the gate more than anything else, how she's walking. You see, and I make the shape of the gate. See, she's moved. She's bending down now. But by knowing the shape of the t-shirt and knowing the anatomy, I can fill in the gaps. Okay, that's all there is to it. I remember I can still look at her now. She's got hair like this. I'm not focusing on that. She's got glasses, that's all I'm on about. She's got jeans, okay? And I remember this walk like this. That's what I was interested in capturing, just that. What time is it? Now I'm gonna go on and try another one. I'm gonna see this guy here walking here in the hat, okay? He's got big shoulders. I see this big shape here. See, he's turned around now, but that doesn't bother me because I can look at the way he's walking. He's very wide in the legs, like this. Now he's walking again and he's taking his kid by the hand. I would have loved to have got the kid in, the sh in there, but uh, so I can see this. So I'm looking at all these shapes, so I don't care. He's got a hat like this. I don't care if he moves my knowledge of anatomy is now gonna fill this in, okay? This is his trapezius. This is his uh, latissimus dorsi, and he's got this stop here. This is deltoids. So I can fill all this in. I can detail or undetail as much as I want, okay? His forearm, I know how that is. That's his ulna bone going there, his hand. Okay, now his shorts. I know he's got his shorts. I can still see they're about here like this, like that. I can see his calf muscle like that. This one is coming forward. See, this is gastric nemus. Other ones walking there like that. And this one's here in the sand here. So that's that gesture over and done with. I'm not going to spend too much time on that either. Now I'm going to look at this guy, uh, this woman walking over here. See, she's bending down. I've just had a look at that. She's got up now. So just briefly, she's bending down. I saw her picking something up. Her hand came like this. So I look, I saw all of this in this shape, okay? Now she's moved away. She's walked on. But how can I fill that in? I can just fill that in just by going over that, okay? And my knowledge of anatomy will help guide me through the rest of it. Why? Because this is her um, thoracic section, her lumbar section, okay? Her uh, knee is going to be like this, okay? And her other knee is going to be like this to kind of balance it all, okay? And that sorted that out for me. You can put the skirt on there, you can put the arm on there, whatever. The head comes here like this. That figures out that little bend down just, just capturing it, okay? You wanna do a more labored pose. Oh, here's another woman walking, let's capture her, okay? So she's swinging her arms across her body, just like that as she's walking. So I know that that arm is the lead leg, so the other one's gonna be like that. 
she's got like more of a stride she's going uphill so that's enough i know that okay so now i know that that's gonna be like something like that okay she was a kind of like a, had a little bit of fat on her okay so that was her position there she's long gone she's long gone but i have taken the information down to help me understand what i was going on with she's gone i might uh, i remember she had a ponytail so i'm just going to do something like that the head is not important here it's all about seeing the gait the swing in the leg and all that kind of thing um what else do we see here we see a little boy running okay he's running his back stead straight his butt sticking out that's what i see okay so i'm gonna put in the rest of it okay my memory saw that i don't know what he's doing with his arms there okay because my memory as i saw him running and i just made these lines i saw straight back with his head like that his back to me like that so i'm going to use my animator's knowledge just to finish that gesture to counterbalance that so that legs forward so i'm going to put that arm back there like that his scapula comes here that's where anatomy knowledge comes in and this arm i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that arm you know princess? 